Tonight, the mayor of Markham says he plans to file an appeal so he can remain in office here in the south suburbs as mayor for his second term. He's even going to ask, he says, President Joe Biden for a pardon to clear his name. Tonight, Markham Mayor Roger Agpawa pushing back. We're here about restorative justice. A show of support at a rally today after an appellate court ruled the South Suburban mayor is now ineligible to hold municipal office because he's a convicted felon. Restorative justice in all forms is important. It's a national issue. It's not a Markham issue. It's not a Roger Agpawa issue. It is something of why we have people in the streets protesting. Back in 1999, Igpawa served time for federal mail fraud. Illinois law prohibits felons from holding municipal office. Do I continue to just have to re get resentenced? Do I uh, have to reserve the uh, uh, or relive what, what I once did. In 2017, Agpawa was elected mayor of Markham. At the time, former Illinois Governor Bruce Rauner restored his citizenship rights. Now, this new reversal says Rauner didn't have the authority to do that. There's going to be a lot of pressure on the county clerk to make a decision about certifying this election. And if it's not certified, who's the mayor? And who will serve? Egpawa won re-election earlier this month with more than 80% of the vote. Now the decision up to the court and not the voters. The mayor surrounding himself with supporters calling on the president to issue a pardon to clear his record. Let the president know what's going on here in the state of Illinois in Markham, little bitty Markham. Now, the mayor of Markham does plan on, as we said, filing an appeal. The election remains uncertified by the county clerk here. The deadline for that is on Tuesday. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.